as I said in my last YouTube short, Neo were reporting their earnings. So in this video, I'm just going to talk you through how they've done and show you how the chart has moved after the earnings were released. So I hope you do stick around until the end. I'd appreciate it. So the article here I have is on, can be found on CNBC.com. So China's EV maker Neo jumps 4% after reporting narrower than expected losses. Neo shares rose on Tuesday after the company reported narrower than expected losses. Investors are focusing on the Chinese electric car maker's ability to be more disciplined in its spending as it charts a path to profitability. So this year, China's EV market has been the stage of a price war sparked by Tesla, which has focused which has forced car makers to slash vehicle prices and put pressure on margins. Now, that's really good for the customer that there's a price war going on and prices are being slashed. So that means the cars are cheaper for the customer, but it may lead to more sales in the long run, but competition is healthy and the consumer is always the one that benefits. Like here in Ireland, when the, with the electricity prices, there's kind of a, a bit of a price war going on there as well, but they're all reducing their prices to try and out, outdo each other. But as I said, the customer is the one that benefits. So there's that's just a picture of Neo's ET5 stands on display at Central China International Auto Show on May the 25th, 2023 in Wuhan in China. So the main points were revenue, 19.1 billion Chinese won, versus 19.4 billion won expected so that was slightly less loss per share 2.67 loss versus 2.91 won expected that was smaller than 3.71 per share loss recorded in the second quarter of the year revenue rose 47 percent year on year so that was per, that was very good neos shares were around four percent higher in pre-market trading in the US reversing earlier losses that followed the results. So I'll just show you the chart now as well. Neo is trading right now at $7.47. And you can see on the fifth, just where, just before that at market close, Neo is trading at 7.44. And then at market open, 14.30 Irish time, you can see after the earnings, it rose from it rose right up to 820 from 746 so that's where the rise was after the earnings report was announced so that's how it's doing right now on the one minute time frame very little momentum at the moment so yeah it's half seven irish time right now and as i said it's trading at 747 748 is just after moving briefly there so just some more points from the article. Neo CEO William Lee reiterated the company's focus on being more efficient. We have identified opportunities to optimize our organization, reduce costs and enhance efficiency, Lee said on Tuesday. Some of those efforts are already bearing fruit. Neo reported net loss of 4.6 billion won in the third quarter, down 24.8 from the second quarter 2023 but still higher than the same period in 2022. The company also cut 10% of its workforce last month, citing fierce competition, which I also mentioned. So the main competitors to NEO are the Chinese vehicle market. Uh, NEO is facing pressure from startups like Xping, Li Auto, and as well as Giants, Tesla and BYD. Now BYD is a comp I'm hearing a lot of ads here in Ireland for BYD on the radio. They say it's the car brand you've never heard of. So that's new. They're trying to, or they're breaking into the Irish market now, BYD. On top of that, Chinese customers remain cautious in spending, which could weigh on Neo's strategy to appeal to the premium segment of the local EV market. So in 2024, the company is targeting a vehicle margin of between 15 and 18 percent, the CFO said. So Neo CFO Stephen Wee Feng said that the company's vehicle margin, which was 11 percent in the third quarter, can rise 15 percent in the fourth quarter, helped by lower material 
and component costs as well as better manufacturing capacity so, so in 2024 neo is focused on efficiency and getting out more and more cares and as i said there, there is fierce competition between tesla neo and and byd and other companies in china as well so it'll be interesting to see how it pans out as i said shares were up over four percent after the earnings were revealed and that's how it's done as, as i showed you on the article so i hope you find the i hope you found this video interesting and i appreciate you for watching till next time take care cheers